So now it's time to put the hardware on your fretboard. Put the tuning gears in first. You'll note that if they're correctly placed, the gold gear is toward the center of the board. I make a little uh, punch out of a finishing nail by blunting its tip to make a punch that makes a starting hole for the nail. You can alt for the screw. You can also um, make a starting hole with a 1 16th inch drill bit if you wish. So here I am making a few um, holes for the screws. Now these are tiny little screws you're putting in and they won't automatically stop turning once you get them all the way in. Um, if you're a very strong person you could continue to turn for a long time and you just strip the threads out. So exercise some restraint and when they're all the way down just stop turning them. And we've got the left gear in. Again the gold gear should be toward the center of the fretboard. And once you've got all those gears uh, screwed down with six screws you can put in your string separator with the slots facing up. If it's a tight fit you can nudge it in with the hammer. If it's loose you can glue it together. Now we'll go to the other end of the board and put in the little string anchor nails that the strings loop around. They should go in that little thumb size section of boards on the far side of the bridge slot. I like to slant them a little bit toward the center. Leave about a quarter of an inch of nail sticking out so there's something for the strings to loop around. If you want you can hold it with the pliers while you pound it in. Once you've got the hardware on, it's time to glue your dulcimer together. We use Elmer's glue. Here you see putting Elmer's glue on the back of the fretboard between the separator and the bridge section. Hopefully you didn't stain that section. I've got two thin beads of glue there. I want a light coat of glue, just enough to cover the back of the fretboard. If you put a lot on, it's going to squeeze out the edges and look a little punky. Here I'm putting some glue inside the flaps of the sound box. Then I'm going to spread the glue on the fretboard so it, there's a little bit of glue on every bit of surface, spreading it out toward the edges. I don't want a lot of glue right along the edges. I'd rather have more in the center, but I do want it to reach out to the edge, be kind of moist. Here's where it's handy to have a partner to help hold your box together if you're gluing it together in a school setting. I like to have kids work in pairs. Put the fretboard down over the center seam of the box. You'll see me pushing some, the box together by squeezing the sides together there. And when it seems to be pretty well together and pretty well centered, you can put some weights on it. The glue takes about an hour to dry under these weights. Get it weighted down, and once it's weighted down, you want to check at both ends to make sure that the sides of the box are squeezed together so the center seam on the box is tight. Not essential, but nice. And you also want to check that the fretboard is lined up exactly on the center of that center seam. So you'll see me looking underneath to see where the center seam in the cardboard is, and maybe nudging the fretboard a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right so it lines up. Squeezing the side of the box, there you are.